designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly with My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you. So let's get started. Today is episode 40, Lamps and Lampshades. Mm, I love a good lamp. And a lampshade, you're right. <laughs> yeah, and you know, it's so hard to pick um, beautiful lamps. So I, it just mm -hmm. adds so much to a room. But I'm so glad you said that. I have found mm -hmm. lamps to be one of the most difficult things mm -hmm. to find, to choose, and to love. Well, that's true. <laughs> and usually, I, a lot of my lamps, because I you know, do have the shop, I order mine wholesale because I've got access to all these wholesalers so it is it's very hard I mean it's so difficult that usually I just mm. custom order something um, you know after going through hundreds and hundreds of lamps because I'm really mm -hmm. really 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 picky well I think I'm probably picky too but I don't do that I I don't want to I end up buying most of my lamps at the thrift store or I oh. find something <laughs> that's, that's a well, great that's fine place if to you buy don't them mind. That's if you don't right. mind redoing them. And so, right. I've gotten some actually fabulous lamps at the thrift store also. So, yeah, I mean, I've gotten some Italian ones. And one mm -hmm. I got that's a floor lamp that's hand-painted. It's kind of a Florentine style. Mm. It's It was made in Italy, and I got it for, I think, about $100 at the thrift store. Oh, my. My <laughs> friend said she saw it. Uh, she said it was almost exact. No, I changed mm. out the lampshade because mm -hmm. it was frumpy looking. But um, my friend said she saw almost the exact same lamp at a store for $1,500. Uh. Well, yeah, I don't doubt it. And I think this is what happens. There are so many cast-off lamps because people think of the lamp and the lampshade as one unit, and they might not mm -hmm. like the lampshade anymore. Mm -hmm. So they end up just donating the whole shebang and mm -hmm. yeah usually the lampshade has got to go mm -hmm. but the base mm -hmm. might be really interesting or you could upcycle just be really, it yeah you just mm -hmm. upcycle it or just, maybe it's just really simple like a ginger mm -hmm. jar but it's not your right color so what do you another do? thing oh. is you spray paint it that's yeah. or so yeah the other yes. thing is sometimes people turn in the lamps because they've stopped working well, I oh, have a great, point. I, you know, I know a guy for everything. So <laughs> I've do. got, a, I've got a lamp guy and, got a and lamp he, guy too. Mm -hmm. I know. So he can fix that. In fact, mm -hmm. I bought a chandelier that, uh, that was from Europe and he changed it out so that it would work with American wiring and it was mm. not expensive, but mm. you know, like I said, he's a good guy. Okay. Let's, let's talk about the different types of lamps before we get into all the good mm -hmm. stuff. I always think of, you have to build the foundation first. That's true. Before and you I get like to, to jump the to the pretty stuff. I so do I'm, too. I'm pulling myself back here. Okay, let's talk about some types of lamps. What are some types of lamps? Floor lamp. Floor lamp. Table lamps. lamp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Task, Task lamps. Task lamp. Task lamps. Absolutely. And, and how, how about mood lamps? Mood lighting. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And like, I'm going to say buffet because that tends to be the taller, okay. skinnier lamps. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And you know, when I'm thinking of mood lighting, I'm thinking of when we talked about uh, the kitchen podcast, oh, how right. you have that cute little lamp mm -hmm. tucked in that corner just mm -hmm. to give a little light in case somebody needs to come down and have a glass yeah. of milk mm -hmm. or water or a cookie or something like mm -hmm. that in the middle of the night. Yeah, so those kinds of of lighting I look at them differently than let's say track lighting or overhead lighting which you know is not my favorite right. Um, oh, right. yeah. because what you're doing is you're flooding an area with those lamps with light and I think it's so pretty when you have lamps that just a little bit of that rounded flood area overlaps one another it's mm -hmm. like layering yeah, it's just it's point. warm and cozy. Mm -hmm. It's so much cozier mm -hmm. than the overhead lighting. So I do mm -hmm. love having lots of lamps in a room. I've been getting into floor lamps lately. Well, I have a couple, but I don't have many. Mm -hmm. But there are some really cool ones out They're there. They're beautiful, and you mm -hmm. can put them in the greatest spots. Like if you don't have a mm -hmm. table that's big enough, you can put a floor lamp there so you can have other things on a table. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have a table at all, it's well, great it to add that light or to light up a corner where you need it. And if you're building a house, mm -hmm. just keep that in mind. Are you going to have a table in the middle of the room? And if you are, just mm -hmm. make sure you put it in the plans to put that floor uh, outlet 
and so that you can plug a lamp in there, which is what we did mm. in our living room. But yeah, you've got to have places for those lamps, and I do love having them in every room. Great tip, great tip. Okay, let's talk about a lamp base, because let's pull that apart. I usually do. I can't even think of that I've ever used if I, if a lamp came with a lampshade. I don't think I've ever used the lampshade this come that came with a lamp. Oh, well, <laughs> I do, but you know, some of them they're beautiful. I mean, yeah, I usually do, but they're I tend to buy really expensive lamps. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I know. So then they are nice, but yeah, they're quite ex- yeah, but anyway. And I tend to go the other way. Mm-hmm. I like expensive lamps, so I go for an expensive look and put on a shade. I'd rather mm-hmm. buy a cheaper lamp mm-hmm. and a better shade mm-hmm. yeah. because I think a shade is is it's a telltale sign of how good your lamp is. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I, and, I, I agree there. I think, and, um, I'm sorry, go ahead, Anita. Well, I was just going to say, I mean, that's the thing. When I buy a lamp at the at the thrift store, 99% of the time I have to change out that lampshade but once I get a beautiful mm-hmm. lampshade on it kind of looks new then it does look beautiful but let's just talk about the the parts of a lamp so when we're talking about things uh, we're all talking the same language you have the base and you have the neck now the neck is um, most lamps have a neck some do not but the neck is just like a, the small area that connects the light socket to the base Mm -hmm. so we have we'll talk base neck and light socket Mm -hmm. what's your favorite shape of a lamp for me it's probably a candlestick lamp i love oh okay yes and you have beautiful ones Mm, thanks have you ever have you ever wired your own like a you have gorgeous candlesticks period have you ever wired any of those to be lamps i haven't but you know you can do that and i know people Mm -hmm. that do that and that's one of the mm-hmm. things I buy uh, from this one guy at Round Top who takes these old uh, salvage pieces and makes them into these gorgeous lamps. So there's one lamp we have that's kind of an old picket from a fence. It's got the, you know, the paint kind of chipped mm-hmm. off and mm-hmm. he's made it into a lamp and it is gorgeous. Oh, that's right up my alley. How about you, Kelly? What kind of a lamp do you sort of tend to uh, gravitate towards? I don't know different lamps it really depends on Mm -hmm. you know where the location is I do love a Mm -hmm. thin tall buffet lamp something Mm -hmm. that's I I tend to kind of want my lamps not to scream too loud normally and you know maybe I'm gonna (laughs) if I'm gonna bring in some texture or something more interesting maybe doing it in Mm -hmm. the shade as you Mm -hmm. mentioned um but every once in a while I'll find something you know some kind of kooky Mm -hmm lamp at the the thrift store or something that you think well this is just too fun and oh. you know if you clean it up or mm-hmm. spray paint it or something but usually I'm going for a, a simple uh, you know, maybe a ginger jar just something's pretty mm-hmm. straightforward mm-hmm. um I have uh, had some items transformed into lamps one being oh. this I, was a wooden candlestick really big and chunky probably almost mm-hmm. 20 inches at the base bottom and it had you know sort of oh wow stick the that is chunky in it. Mm-hmm. yeah it's really chunky it's so 20 inches across or yeah, tall a circle. at the bottom yeah the diameter. oh wow that it's, is big it's really mm-hmm. big um and so i you know it wasn't a pair and it was just this candle mm-hmm. center, and mm-hmm. it's got this great patina on it so mm-hmm. i had that made into a lamp you know it's it trims out as it goes that up is the, lamp worthy yeah mm-hmm. it's lamp it worthy so it's a very it is. big lamp and then another wow. thing was um like one of those demi john oh yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think- and i i thought well that'd be so pretty you know i just want to put it on the floor like what do you do with it again rather large um mm-hmm. the thing about that and i think it's called a french cord or something anita might ring in on that if she knows but mm, when you can see the cord come yes. through mm-hmm. well okay, usually so- those uh, if it's a jar like that i think usually they do the cork stopper and then the cord does not actually go mm-hmm. through the glass yeah, well, he, he the, we did the cord through the glass, and oh. um, but so he must looks, have drilled a hole for it in the bottom. Yeah, he drilled a hole for mm. it. And put wow, that would scare me. Rubber plug up things, but anyway, mm-hmm. uh, it's mm-hmm. really pretty, and it's kind of got that little bit of a green tint to it. You know that kind mm-hmm. of glass. Oh, that sounds oh, yeah. beautiful. And it's really Very pretty, nice. and I have a burlap mm-hmm. shade on it, and I love that. Ooh, but I'm always good gorgeous. combination. <laughs> yeah, I have a guy. Like you have a you guy. have a guy. My, yeah, my guy's Freddie, and I get Freddie. Hey, Freddie. 
<laughs> Freddie's like 89 or something. He's been doing this for forever. He loves what he does. And he gets it's totally psyched if I bring him something weird and I want to make it into a lamp. <laughs> so it's fun, you know, I- and... I, I just got, I was at Luckett's um, oh, yesterday, as a matter of fact. She I went know. without a Luckett's you. I know. Yes. If you don't know what Luckett's is, it's this huge, vintage, quirky, very famous sort of antique store. It's huge. And Miss Mustard Seed, doesn't, does she have a booth still there? Um, well, during like the spring market and the fall, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And right now, Amy Howard is uh, who handles all their chalk paint. So Uh there was just like a real kinship there. But anyway, I found these gorgeous white ginger jars. Mm. Oh, they're huge. And they have a lid. So I'm thinking, oh, do I? And I got the pair. and They were so reasonable. Mm. And I'm thinking, well, do I make them into a lamp? Because I need lamps for our master bedroom. Or do I leave them as, you know, just these gorgeous white ginger jars that I'm going to probably craze or do something to them make them a little more chippy Mm -hmm. well and so that brings mm. up another point because I like my lamps to match in a room I like you know I don't go too matchy Mm -hmm. matchy but I Mm -hmm. love a matching pair of lamps so Mm -hmm. you know if there's a so that's another option is do you do two or do you just do one you know Mm. that's a just something else to think about what your design aesthetic is yeah lamps are definitely swoon worthy and the lamp that I get asked about an so much and that lamp must be oh gosh it's well we had it before we moved into our ha- this house so over 21 years old it's a black hen and it was during my I love roosters phase but I've never been <laughs> sort of I I had a I love roosters phase mm-hmm. <laughs> but I just well, don't you know go I like, did too and I know you did mine gold oh yeah. <laughs> I think she should make it into a lamb. Mm -hmm. She had a Tuscan face. She's just not telling us about the Tuscan face. I know. Well, anyway, I didn't go overboard, but I found this hen, and it's um, uh, it's sort of black and white, and it really looks feathery, and it's sitting, and then it has a black and white twill shade. So it has a real French look to it, Mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like, oh, gosh, that was during your rooster face. (laughs) And I contemplated on many occasions throwing it out or giving it away or doing something mm-hmm. with Setting it. Setting it free. Setting okay. it free. <laughs> Letting it, free fly, range, the, so it would fly the coop. That's right. exactly right. That is right. so funny because I'm sitting here looking at a rooster lamp left but I, over yeah, for my I, rooster face. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with but it. But you know so. what? I'm not doing it because it transcends. Some things transcend phases. And thank goodness mm-hmm. this does. But the lamp, it's a rooster, and the lampshade, it would, this lamp would look totally tacky if it didn't have this beautiful black and white twill hmm. shade on it. Mm-hmm. Or the lampshade. Well, and it, it could even be painted at some point if you wanted to. Well, it, it's really perfect the way it mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. But if in the lamp, shade would look horrible if it wasn't on the the mm. lamp oh, so i guess i have heaven. one i have one lamp and lampshade combo so i'm going to correct myself so it just goes to show you when you find that right fit it's like magic well it, right and i have some lampshades mm-hmm. that are hand painted that are just oh, stunning and they pretty. came with the lamps so oh and you know you can paint lampshades it's easy mm-hmm. one tip i do have is if you get tired of your lampshade just ch- paint it with black chalk paint Oh, wow. oh, there you it's go. awesome and you can even do like a little um design with chalk around the top and the bottom if you want it works mm-hmm. fabulously i actually have that um on a post so i'll put that in the show notes um i think that when we buy a lamp i tend to go bigger than smaller mm-hmm. well yeah i think it's another one of those things like don't get a you know rug too small Mm-hmm. Some of these things just don't work if you go too small. And usually, I agree with the lamps. Usually, if you have a choice, the bigger size typically mm-hmm. is going to be better. Mm-hmm. Well, I think you're right if it's going to be on a side table or a nightstand on either side, something like that. But I do seek out and covet the tiny lamp. I know you well, do. Well, I mean, love like a, a tiny a lamp. Countertop. Yeah, for certain mm-hmm. for certain. Uh, right now, uses, I am in the market for is. a tiny lamp to tuck in, in my hutch that I have in my kitchen and so there's such a little tiny bit of space between the Mm -hmm. counter-ish part of it and where Mm -hmm. the the hutch Mm -hmm. part stops. How about finding a little silver teapot and using that? 
Oh, and I had to Ooh, visit Freddie with your my silver guy fix it. Yes, oh, yeah, you know, you know how we love the silver. We do. What well, a just great one idea. cautionary note: if you mm-hmm. are like me and you head to the back of your Goodwill and you look at, the, you know, the housewares department and you're looking for lamps, you know, some of them are going to be fine and you'll find one from, you know, some a fairly new one but if you find a super duper oldie that you really love and the cord has that thin wire oh, yes. and if it looks mm-hmm. a little frayed or if it's the cloth wire mm-hmm. and so you know it's old please 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 either talk to an electrician mm-hmm. or yeah, that's a good point. find a guy like Freddie and ask Have them, them just over. to give it the mm-hmm. once over because the last thing you want is for that, you know, you put that little mood lighting on, you go out for the evening, you come home and your house is burned down. Right? Oh, it don't can even happen. say that. Would you right? know, this be is, careful. these little just cautionary tales are wonderful. I mean, they are very valuable tips. So just make sure that you find uh, your own Freddie. Yes. And if you have any Because I am lamps, not sharing my Freddie. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you his name, but I don't, I'm not going to tell you where he is. You find your own Freddie and have him look over your, your lamps. But, you know, I really think if I had to pick, I think it's the lampshade that often makes the lamp. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I, well, hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, I have a different take mm-hmm. on that. But well, yeah, we so have very different styles, yeah. too. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. And it's probably style appropriate. Mm-hmm. Yes. It is. Yeah. But I think that um, buying a lampshade that doesn't look cheap is so important. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I had to, I'm tending towards Yvonne's uh, mm-hmm. position and, here, Anita. I'm yeah. sliding that way. And now a good source for <laughs> lampshades uh, yes. in burlaps and different cool fabrics mm. and even animal prints is Ballard. You know, really solid. Yes. Lots of different shapes and sizes. Yes. And if you're looking in a catalog or someone's, t- you know, telling you about a particular lampshade, you know, they're going to give you the measurements in an order, you know, one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. So yes, just I've so you know, that. when you're looking, that first number is going to be the top. So that'll be the top opening, how wide that mm-hmm. is. Then the second one will be the bottom. And then the third number will be the side. Well, and oh, Kelly, you make it, and, and Yvonne, you make a bit good point. I mean, if, mm-hmm. if you've got a lamp that you think, I love this lamp, but it just looks a little dated to me, that's yes. something you can do is just change out that lampshade a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And it'll give it a fresh new light. Boy, that is that is just such good advice. But let's talk about, you know, uh, you have to be very careful when you are picking a lampshade for a lamp because they have different ways of, lampshades have different ways of attaching to a lamp and vice versa. Well, and if you're shopping for a lampshade, definitely take that lamp with you because you just don't know how it's going to fit on there unless you have it with you. Well, mine must weigh like 40 pounds. Well, maybe not. Maybe not in your case. uh, Yeah, but for the most part, and actually I did get lampshades for those for my big heavy lamps they Mm -hmm. they were too small so I had to send I had to take them back but there's different things a lampshade can uh, be attached to your lamp but with a harp and a harp is something that attaches on it's a metal piece that attaches on either side of your socket Mm -hmm. and it's tall and your lampshade has what is called a spider or a threaded uh, fitter and then you put it, you put that on the um, harp and then you put like a finial or something like that on the top of it. And you have to be careful because harps come in different sizes mm-hmm, according true. to how tall your um, lampshades are and how tall your light, l- light is too. Yeah, and harps, you can, I have a little collection of them, in fact. I have just like a big Ziploc, and I have a few different ones that, you know. Of, 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 so Kelly. when you're changing a lampshade out, that's a good point. It doesn't have Kelly, to be the same size. Kelly, you are my lamp hero. Well, yeah, <laughs> I was doing it over the weekend, because as I, I, I shared with Anita and Yvonne, I am I'm trying to create a, a space here where I can um, be on the podcast and, and have a nice little desk set up. So I was testing lamps just yesterday and I found a shade and then, oh, the harp is too big. I went to my, my Ziploc bag. I tried a different one. So I, I know that they come in half inch increments and oh, there you mm-hmm. go. <laughs> harps are super cheap to buy. You know, maybe we can grab a, a link or something and, and put them up there so you can Yeah, find let's them. do that. Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. 
Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Mm-hmm. But, but I wanted to idea. say, especially it, if you're like me, that you're buying all these different shaped mm-hmm. weird lamps for, you know, five bucks in various places, mm-hmm. you might want to have a little collection of harps on hand mm-hmm. um, so you can test the different um, heights. So if or you're changing if you out get... the lampshade, it doesn't need to be the same height of the lampshade that you already have on there. But if you right. change the height of the, if you change the shade so shade so it's a different height, you need to make sure you're using the appropriate size harp. harp with it. And you know, here's a good idea: if you're going to give away or like send away an old lamp to, like say Salvation Army, Goodwill, your reuse it store, maybe you could save your harp. That sounds a little oh, greedy, a but. <laughs> It can be, but you never know when you, because I'm always in need of a harp. So I'm right. always like Harps are going to, you know, Walmart to look at the, mm-hmm. yes. But here's the fun thing. If you use a harp and a um, spider fitter, you can add a finial to the top oh, of your Oh, I love a yes. finial. Okay. Yes. I, we said the, the, the good, I was going to say the F word, the good F word, <laughs> finial. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, the good F word, finial, and it makes everybody swoon. Mm-hmm. Not uh-huh. pass out, swoon. There's a difference. Right, right. And yeah, and you get, and that's another way you can just embellish and decorate your lamp. Mm-hmm. And I, oh, and te- you can change out, is that what you said? Yeah, change out the finial to a beautiful one. Oh, they're gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um, and I tend to like the harps the best because you can get a clip, uh, you can get a slip on and a clip on. You can get all kinds of ways to put a lampshade on a lamp. But the other two most popular, I guess, is a clip on where it literally, um, there's a piece on the lampshade in the center that clips over and it literally holds onto your light bulb. And those tend to be smaller ones. Yes, usually on smaller lamps. You're right. Mm -hmm. And then the slip on and it's, again a part of your lamp and it looks like a basket inside your lamp and it goes over the socket there's a hole that goes over the mm-hmm. socket in the center of this basket and you screw your light bulb to it I don't care for either two of those because they sometimes make your um, lampshades look wonky 
You know what I mean? Not not straight. I just like Mm -hmm. those greatly because they are, it's just impossible to get that lampshade. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. You and walk once away you and get... you look again, and it's yeah. oh, crooked. It's always, uh, yeah, yeah. But and it is once... good on the little tiny, the little ones that I like. The, the little clip on is I think okay. they're most common on little That's ones okay. like yeah, that you like. You can, straight, mm-hmm. you can usually straighten those up or tighten it up if you need to, the wire. So you can get those straight. And sometimes even mm-hmm. when you're using the heart, particularly if you're having a um, thrifted lamp or such, it's just not right. Maybe the finial, maybe the screw threads are not, uh, don't go deep enough. And so the finial sits up too high. Mm-hmm. Just get yourself some washers mm-hmm. from the hardware yes. store. Yes. And there you, go. you can, you know, again, have a little bag of those uh, <laughs> at the ready uh, when you need one. And you can put, you know, one, two, three, and just until it gets tight. That's... Until you, you can screw the finial till it's tight. And then the lampshade should stay in place. Uh, Ugh, you know. What a good idea. And so you said the, the L word lampshade. I, I love like the I know I know I let's talk about fabric this is the fun part okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What well do you like? can I say one thing first oh sure sure now sure. this is for a quote-unquote normal lamp now we know quote, in, quote, all, normal. <laughs> in all aspects of life there's really no normal like what is normal mm-hmm. like you, everybody think oh well, I'm normal but you know, maybe other people don't the think I am normal. The most commonly occurring. Yeah, so the most <laughs> common. So picture your normal, quote unquote, uh, like ginger jar lamp or such, such like that. Normally, the shade's going to be a forty percent of the height of the lamp base, mm-hmm. and then it's normally supposed to be um, two times the the base, the, uh, the width of the base. So two times the width. And forty percent mm. of the height, except well, yeah, I, that's but the, there yeah. are so again many exceptions in everything. So yeah, many yeah. exceptions, mm-hmm. right? If so, it's a round lamp, like, that's an exception, right? Yeah. And right. you're just mm-hmm. gonna eyeball it, and you're gonna know like if you're seeing the bulb or the lights coming, you know, out yes. in weird ways. Yes. That's a no no. If yeah, you, that's if something's no-no. wrong. Right. If the neck is black plastic and you're seeing it, not good. Mm-hmm. Right. You well, know? you can. You are. Well, that's the socket, but the neck, you should be able to see the neck. You, It's okay. Oh, yeah. It's I'm okay. talking about the plasticky part. Yeah, that's, like, the so- that's, that's the socket. That's part of the socket. Yeah, that's a no-no. And here's my advice. I would tend, I tend to go a little bit bigger than smaller, mm-hmm. um, but let your eye be your guide because your eye's going to be your very best guide. If you look mm-hmm. at it and say, hmm, you know that'll do that's that's not going to be good enough right. you really want to get that right because the size of your lampshade um to your lamp makes a huge difference in the overall look of your lamp right and if you i absolutely i, I agree with you 100 percent. and sometimes you can get a very different lampshade than what came on the lamp but it still looks great so i would try some things out and if you can't tell by looking at it shoot a picture of it and uh, you know look at it uh, i your love computer, that send mm-hmm. it to your friends uh, <laughs> or, or post it on facebook and mm-hmm. you're and, and see what other people think but yeah. okay i know what your favorite fabric for a lamp is both of you <laughs> yes is it linen linen of course i love mm-hmm. linen where do you get good linen lamp shades well, like I said, I mean, the lamps I buy usually come with come the Come with the shades. linen lamp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't mm-hmm. do a lot of changing out. Okay. Okay. Mine, I tend to like burlap because mm-hmm. I've got, again, the American farmhouse thing going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, burlap's um, beautiful. Mm-hmm. The only thing, we talked about this before, I'll say it again, use a clear light bulb when you use burlap. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. your burlaps, you're going to see the light bulb through it when it's on. Mm-hmm. So you don't want it to be, you want it to be a clear. It looks much better. Um, you know, you can make lampshades. Have any of you done that? Yeah, I have. And I've done the string ones mm. too on the metal. Oh, uh, yes. Mm-hmm, those are fun. Now, did you use, use like frayed fabric strips? Is that how you did it? I actually used string. You used string. I did. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about the metal, the, really just the frame mm-hmm. of yeah, the lampshade. Mm-hmm. You know, if you've seen those sometimes, if, it is just a lampshade stripped down or other times it's like a reproduction just to look like a lampshade without right. any fabric on mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have one of those. I bought it, one at the Rose Bowl. It was a repro. It, you know, so it, it definitely had more metal on it than if you just took the, the casing mm-hmm. or the fabric off a lampshade. And I did strips of uh, white linen 
Oh, it's really pretty. So I used you can it use in my those, other house. Yeah, you can use the frames. Take all if it's an old one. Actually, I just gave them away because I got tired of waiting to do this. But you can mm-hmm. use those framed ones where there are um, vertical metal pieces that hold it in place usually there's just an upper ring and a lower ring if you right. take the fabric off you mm-hmm. have two separate rings but, but if it's one of those that's attached with the mm-hmm. metal pieces what you can do is put it on your lamp and just put an edison bulb on and don't yeah. and then you're done and you're done right oh, I, I decided mine needed something because it was bigger so i did little mm-hmm. strips of uh white linen and i tied and it it looks like little birds almost like in an abstract oh, way yeah it's go. pretty mm. in fact that was the one I was trying out on this lamp that I was telling you about yesterday oh but, well, send um, us pictures yeah yes, I decided not yes. to use that one because my harp was not right but, oh um, that's you have to not the good right kind of harp yeah, yeah. the other thing I know that you can actually make a fabric all the way around you know a solid fabric and I'm just itching to make one of those uh, have other of you girls done that Oh, no, to replace the fabric on a lampshade? Yes, shade? yes, totally. Well, I'm trying to th- No, I don't think I have done that. But I, it's one of those it has been on my list, but I'm not sure I've done it. Oh, you know what, girls? That might be a fun project. We could do a three-way mm-hmm. blog post. Oh, yeah, that oh, would be fun. Oh, yeah. okay, yes. We'll have to set that up. Yes. Well, and some of the lampshades are set up for you to cut your own fabric and put them on. They've got stick them on them. That's have oh yeah, those? that's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have. They don't have those at the thrift store. I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean at the at like the the um you know the. Like I'm a, joking because um... that's where I get my lamp. <laughs> Oh, okay. But you like know what something I either. am itching to make is hmm. my what? canvas from canvaspeople.com. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. And I want to remind everyone because it's a limited time. I know we've mentioned um, that Canvas People has been kind enough to be sponsors of Decorating Tips and Tricks and even kinder that they are offering our listeners a free that's right, an mm-hmm. F-R-E-E free. 11, <laughs> it's really an amazing deal. Yeah, it 11 is. by 14 canvas, and all you have to do is pay the shipping. So you choose a photo of yours, of your kids, your dog, yourself, whoever, uh, your garden, whatever you want your photo to be of, and and canvas people will transform it into a, a beautiful piece of artwork. So, Kelly, I did that. It's mm-hmm. so easy to do online. Well, you know why I haven't done it. I just can't it. decide mm-hmm. what photo to use. But well, I have that's to, me. That's too. the tough I've choice. Because I'm a photographer. I've got. Well, I mean, you both have gorgeous mm-hmm. pictures too. I can't decide. There's so many, and I'm still mm-hmm. looking. But I'm looking uh, forward I did to getting it. mine. I did the Christmas picture of Bobby, me, and the baby. Oh, oh well, you have yes. to have yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, mm-hmm. that's that's beautiful for our so, bedroom. That's oh, right. How nice. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. 
And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And that deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Mm -hmm. So it's a great Mother's Day gift or graduation gift or Father's Day gift or any day gift. Mm So um, please take advantage of that. You know, it's a gift from Mm canvaspeople.com. And uh, you go to their site and put in the code decorating. And then they'll know (sighs) you came from Decorating Tips and Tricks. And you will get your free 11 by 14 canvas. And we'll put that all in the show notes. What did you say? You're a silly nilly if you don't. Is that you what you said? silly milly if you don't do it. <laughs> okay, there you go. It's a freebie. Come on. <laughs> what, Try um, them out. They know you're your, going to love it. We love, we, and we love a good deal. My I, fi- it, Deal doesn't get better than free. No, That's no, true. it doesn't get better. And a really good free deal good free, on top yeah, of and it. It's, yes. Right, high quality. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I'm sorry. I just had to tell you that. I, uh, hey, I'm I so glad. I want to take advantage of that before the oh, offer goes away. That is a good thing. Well, uh, let's just do... Can we talk mm-hmm. one more second? Okay. Yeah. What I want to talk about shapes. What shapes do you like of lampshades? Hmm. Well, I think the drum is very oh. nice. Me mm. too. It Me has too. a oh, modern yeah, drum, feel, absolutely. contemporary, mm-hmm. but not in a contemporary way. It's it's kind of timeless. Yeah, it is. And yeah. it's not too formal. I love the drum shade too. I think that's my favorite. Although I have yeah, a lot of the I'm others too. Girl. I mean, I don't yep. know. I'm a drum girl too. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fabric you put on a shade. That that you work with the the um shape. The fabric and the shape go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. But you can't beat a drum. Well, and I've got oh. 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 On that I, note, I that was, get out of that town. was not pun intended, believe oh, me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> one of my favorite lampshades is a, vel- a velvet lampshade I have. That's oh, I don't good. have one of those, but that sounds oh. gorgeous. I love it. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I and I love lamps so much. This has been so fun. <laughs> it's so fun hanging out with everybody. It is. So, um We've had so much fun. So remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. So until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us. And if you do rate and review us, we're going to enter you to win a fantastic giveaway. The details are for the giveaway or in the show notes for this episode. And you can find the show notes at decoratingtipsandtricks.com.